Hi everybody. Are you fat? Do you have a big fat blob face? Do you like eating more than you like being thin? Are you tired of looking like a hippopotamus in pictures? Are you tired of looking like you were born with no neck? Are you tired of having several chins? Are you tired of your face looking like one big blob? Jenna Marbles taught us how to trick people into thinking you're good looking. I'm here to teach you how to trick people into thinking that you're thin. Sort of. And I'm going to walk you through how to make your face look a little bit thinner. In case you're one of the heifers like me that gained the weight on your face. Okay, now that you have your foundation and powder on your blob, I mean face, you are going to start eyebrows first. Your eyebrows frame your face, and sorry fatties, but those of us who have tried to have thin eyebrows, it makes your face look that much fatter. So chunk these things up, okay? It's going to make your face look a little bit thinner. Okay, now that you have your eyebrows done, we can move on to the actual contouring. First of all, you need to assess your face. Where are your problem areas? For me, my problem areas are my cheeks. You can kind of see the crease right there, but it's kind of hidden by the fat and it doesn't look good. What you really want to do is use kind of a bronzer, but that's not a lot darker than your regular skin tone. So I'm going to be using this right here. You don't want to use anything with shimmer because it's going to call attention to it. It's going to grab more light and it's actually going to call attention to the fact that you have no real prominent cheekbone. Okay, so what you want to do is take your blush brush, dip it in your color like so, blow it off a little bit, and pinch it so that it's flat. You don't want to start, okay, see the crease is kind of going in right here, but if I put the makeup right here, it's gonna look like I have no jawbone. So you wanna kinda put it up higher and you wanna start from the hairline and go out like that. Just look at your natural bone structure and just kinda decide where you want your cheekbones to be. Make sure you don't go down, go towards your mouth with it. Now, if that's not enough for you, take a very light color such as this right here swab in there and go underneath your eye on top of your cheekbone okay so you're just gonna work some really pale color in there so that it's gonna contrast better you also want to put some of the light color if you're like me and you don't have a strong jawline put it on the lower portion of your jaw right there like right on your jawbone you also want to put some on your chin now that you're done with those fat ass cheeks, <laughs> let's move on to the neck. Okay, the neck is a problem area with most of us fat girls, so you really want to get that under control. Take your contouring color again, your bronze without any shimmer. Now, look at your neck and try to pinpoint, it's kind of hard, but attempt to pinpoint where your jawbone is. Put the color, the darker color, underneath your jawbone. Okay? And here's a little trick here. If you just put it underneath your jawbone, it can actually make your face look wider. So make sure you get this area right here, right in front of your ear. Contour that as well, and that will make it look like you actually have a visible jawbone. Blend it down into your neck. You see that little that little pudge right there, you got to cover that. So you, you got to get that double chin right there. Go down in there. Something else that some of us fat girls have problems with is the nose. Okay, I don't know if you can actually gain weight on your nose, but I have a big nose. So let's take some of this color, pinch our brush again, and just brush down the side of the nose. Now, take some of your light color, go straight down the bridge of your nose. Now as for the blush. Fat girls, we also have the problem of if you get too much blush on, it's going to make your cheeks look even fatter. Okay, so here's a trick I have. 
Get Your Color Goss Makeup Artist also pointed out that if you do the smiling thing and put it right there on your cheeks, it's going to slump down and us fatties have problems with, you know, a big face and it kind of droops when you're not smiling. So you got a lot of weight there on your cheeks going up and down. This outer corner of our cheekbones right here. Okay, now you watch the motion. Go up and then do like a crescent moon right in here. Okay. It's going to give like the illusion of a lifted face. Just bring it up on the forehead. Now we have our cheeks flushed. Now one thing that is optional, if you're like me and you're fat but you would still even have a wide face if you were thin, take some of your contouring color. Okay, find the arch of your eyebrow and work this color into your hairline just around the edge. Okay, just lightly. That's going to give the illusion of a thinner face. Now, what you can do, and this is optional, is take a little bitty shimmery color, just dip your finger in it, and just lightly go right down your nose, cupid's bow, and on your chin. This is going to pull your face out while the darker color is narrowing it, so your face is going to look more narrow. Right, now for your eyes. Here's something I've noticed. I've noticed, okay, God bless you. I'm fat too, but some of you fat girls out there tend to line your inner rims of your eyes, and that can be a nice effect if you're thin. It is actually going to narrow your eyes, but make them look more piercing. Okay, now, what it actually does for fat girls is makes your eyes look smaller and your face look fatter. So if you can, unless you have really huge eyes, do not align the inside of your eye. It's going to make your eyes look tiny and your face look huge. Okay, take your little eyeliner brush again and dip it into whatever color you want to line your eyes. You're going to try to actually widen your eyes so that it is in proportion with your face. So start at the outer corner of your eye with your brush tilted like that. And just brush it in. Okay, you've winged it out a little bit. Take it again. Get this outer corner right here on it and then go down. Okay, now fill in that area. Okay, now that you've gotten your eyes lined as equally as possible, take this little, I don't know what kind of brush this is, but it's a little kind of flat brush. And pick something that you like, like maybe a pink or peach. Just pat this on your eyelid. And okay, now that you've gotten your eyelid color going on, let's take a nice, it's like a kind of a plum color. Now you want this uh, kind of round brush. It's like a blending brush. Okay. Hit the corner where that winged out part is and just dab the color on and start blending it inwards. Blend it a little bit down on your eyelid as well. Okay, now that you have your creases done, you want to make it pretty dramatic too because it's going to open up your eyes. Okay, now take that brush right here and dip it into that light color you're using to highlight your cheekbones up here and your nose. Okay, so take that, put it right underneath your eyebrow. And I go all the way underneath my eyebrow, not just in the arch. You do it a little around the side too. Now you want to take your mascara. I'm about to show you a pretty cool beauty tip. Just hang on. Okay, take an empty mascara wand, okay? And just wipe all the crap off of it and wash it off. And use this to take off the excess off of your lashes. If you're spastic like me, you're going to need one of these. It's a makeup eraser pen, okay? It's by Revlon. 
Now that you have your face done, and it looks a little bit thinner, what you want to do is fix your hair in a way where it's going to make your face look thinner also. Okay? If you have a big, wide face, big, fat face, you don't want to wear your hair slicked back like this. It's just going to make your whole face look enormous. Okay? So, just take your hair down. Now that you have your hair down, you can see your face instantly looks thinner. Okay. Now, let's try and put a headband in. And now, you officially look thin. Er. Is never take pictures from a straight on. Take them from above. See, that eliminates that double chin you might have. So take them from up here. You instantly look thinner. Down here, bad. Up here, good. Okay, another thing you want to remember is to always sit up straight, make sure your clothes are not wrinkled, and do your rolls, and just try to stick that face out so, <laughs> so nobody can see your double chin. Okay, so if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you would like more videos like this. And just let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching.